Hello everyone, welcome to my lab. In this video, we're making quantum dots from sugar in a very common way. Many people have done this reaction before without knowing lots of quantum dots being produced. Okay, let's get started. We put some sugar in a beaker and pour some sulfuric acid in it. Soon, the dehydration process starts forming a carbon rod. This demonstration is often called sugar snake. Most of the time, the reaction stopped that's the end of the experiment, and please subscribe, like, and comment. But for today, this is just the beginning. What about throwing the black stuff into some water? And see what we can get. After filtration, we got a slightly yellow solution. Under ultraviolet light, we can see very intense fluorescence. During the dehydration process of sugar, tiny carbon particles were formed. These particles were so tiny that are actually quantum dots in a size of less than 10 nanometers. Inspired by the Thought Emporium's video and the paper on nature, carbon quantum dots can be made by dehydration of carbohydrates such as sugar. I'm wondering if sugar snake could work, and it really success. The intensity of fluorescence is also very impressive, much stronger than other quantum dots made from sugar. Some people might ask, ordinary table sugar also has weak fluorescence. Maybe there are quantum dots too, since the weak fluorescence can be produced by simply heating the purified sugar without fluorescence. My starting material has no fluorescence, the color and intensity are different from ordinary sugar solution. Also, the intensity of fluorescence is related to the amount of the sulfuric acid being added. More ratio of sulfuric acid can make more quantum dots. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching.